this green in my pockets, you can call it turtle power. Welcome back guys, this is Mo here and today I'm going to be reacting to Arena 1 replays. So that's going to be fun, we'll just open this over chest. So I go gold, a furnace, and goblins, alright. And I'm going to be opening the magical chest in the next Clash Royale video. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully we could get something good out of it. Okay, so let me find the Arena 1 replay. Oh, it's right there. Alright, the first replay. So it's Fauzi versus... Um, I don't know. So, well, Fauzi versus Bob, alright? Fauzi versus Bob. So Fauzi starts off with a mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh my god. And a skeleton army, and then Bob has to fireball the tower. So he's gonna lose the tower because he didn't know how to play defense. And he, um, Fauzi's gonna get a, a f couple of sh uh, okay, like three fourths health of of the king tower. Now Bob has a baby dragon coming and a giant. So Fauzi, at least he uses the the fireball right. So he fireballs the baby dragon, and Bob is gonna put down his push and um his what's it called? Bomber. I was gonna call it Wallbreaker. So no, 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 Fauzi. Why would you put a skeleton army on a bomber? And then Bob has to arrow the towers. Oh my God. Why would you arrow it? You're better off fireball. Oh my God. He fireballs it too. And he doesn't defend the mini Pekka, so the mini Pekka gets a hit off Bob's tower. Now Bob is gonna wait until. Nine elixir, and he's gonna put down his giant um, baby dragon. So that's an all right push. It's decent, but he's not gonna defend the giant. Bob isn't gonna defend the giant coming down. He's gonna put down a knight, and Faust, he's gonna put down a knight to counter his push. So it's a level three knight versus a level one knight, and he's gonna arrow the towers. Well, he also arrowed the knight, so I'm not sure what his logic was there. Bob has like one more elixir, but then he's gonna, um, okay, they're fireballing each other's tower, why? You're better off fireballing the, the bomber, so he's gonna place down a mini P.E.K.K.A., and Bob is, of course, he's not gonna defend it, he's just gonna wait at 10 elixir for a second, and now Fauzi's destroying Bob's tower, but Bob really doesn't care, and, yeah, he's gonna put down a skeleton army, which is pretty good by Bob, and then Fauzi's gonna fireball his tower for the win. How ironic. Fireball for the win. Whatever. Um Bob had um twenty-nine tower left on the other guy's thing. Okay, so we're gonna watch someone that actually does know how to play. So it's Nicholas versus Steven. Yes, yeah, Steven. So Nicholas is gonna play I'll uh, place down the Gob Hut and Bob is gonna put down an actual legit strategy, the giant musketeer. And Nicholas is gonna put down a bunch of goblins and spear goblins. Uh, Nicholas puts down the bomber, which is all right. It does a it does a few like it does pretty good damage, I guess. But the musketeer, Steve's um, musketeer is gonna take that out real quick. And I don't know, he didn't he doesn't really need to defend the musketeer. Because the tower got it, but this guy, well, he, um, Steve is actually distracting the prince, but only to the extent that he has no more troops left. So he's gonna get the tower on the. Steve's tower is gone. He's gonna arrow, like a couple of goblins. He could have gotten all of them, and Nicholas is a spawner. As you can see, there's two spawners, and that's gonna do a lot of damage because there's a lot of goblins just chipping away at the tower. And Nicholas is gonna put down a bomber, and he okay, so he's gonna fireball the go, the gob hut, not necessarily the tower, but okay. And he's gonna put down a prince. Um, Nick is gonna put down a prince, and, but Steve ha, Steve has nothing to counter that, so he's gonna put down a mini Pekka to take out the 
Prince real quick, and then Nick is gonna put down uh, his Gob Spawner, which is gonna pretty much end the mini P.E.K.K.A. And he's also gonna put down some Goblins, so he actually does know how to play. They're actually playing defense instead of just fireballing each other's tower like the last guys. Alright, so he's gonna put down the Baby Dragon to take out the... Um, the gob the spear goblins and he's gonna fireball the tower because he knows he's got it. No way Okay, whoa. Oh my god. Okay, that was pretty close by him um, If he saw the prince coming I would have put down the two goblins then arrowed it But you know Steve could have gotten the win Nick pretty uh, he didn't get lucky. It was just yeah, he probably did I mean it was a pretty at least they know how to play right All right, so then let's watch this guy so we got Caesar LOL XD and Jake. Okay, so Jake is gonna put down a mini Pekka in the night, but and Caesar puts down the the Goblin Barrel, but you know he he do, he doesn't play defense. Jake doesn't play defense. So the Goblin Barrel actually does so much damage if you just leave it there. Please, guys. Always have arrows or something that's gonna take out the goblin barrel because look, um, the goblin barrel took down two thirds of Jake's tower and because he didn't want to play defense. Like they do so much damage. No, no, Caesar, why? Oh wait, no, never mind. That's Jake. Jake, why would you put down a skeleton army right on top of the Valkyrie? Come on, man. And a on a mini, oh not mini, like a baby dragon. All right, so Jake puts down. If that wait, was it Jake? Yeah, whatever. It's Jake, right? So we're gonna. Jake is gonna put down a knight and a giant, which is all right. I mean, it doesn't do the knight. I'm not sure. I never use the knight, and he uses the bomber, which is really good to take out those spear goblins. And the knight is a pretty good tank. So the the okay. Why would you put down a mini Becca right on top of goblins? Oh my god, whatever. Okay, so good, good play by Caesar. And, okay, that was alright. Yeah, that was pretty good, I guess. But look, he's not going to defend the Goblin Barrel, man. But look, like, half a more second um, longer, you know. Jake would have lost because he didn't want to play defend he didn't want to defend the goblin barrel and why do they always go for three crowns i know it's pretty easy to go get three crowns but if you're like a level one against like a level three you know i wouldn't really go for the three crowns unless i mean i would because i actually know how to play but like if you're a noob <laughs> you wouldn't know how to play but yeah so, uh that's that's it for today um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna be opening the magical chest in the next video at, at least the next Clash Royale video Stay tuned for that and I'll probably open a couple of more chests So please like comment and subscribe for more especially if you want to see more videos from me and I'm signing out peace